learn the ranks. Learn officers, learn enlisted, learn your ranks. Learn the Air Force song. I'll even put the link below for the Air Force song. Learn the Airman's Creed. The less that you have to worry about learning while you're there, the better. You're gonna still have to learn your chain of command within your particular flight and squadron. Learn it. Learn, learn the things you can before you go. I cannot recommend this enough. For enlisted ranks, like so, the first four ranks are the junior enlisted ranks. You see that? Now notice how the stripes are not under or over the chevron, correct? The way I think about this is when you're an airman basic to a senior airman, this is where you're learning your tools, that you're learning how to be in the military. These are your tools for the military. The next ranks are your NCOs. So that would be your staff sergeant and your technical sergeant. You see how on the bottom they have stripes underneath. I think of that as my foundation. So a staff sergeant has one stripe underneath and a technical sergeant has two stripes underneath. That's, you're starting to build a house, but you need the foundation first. You got your tools. Now you got to build the foundation. Now, when you get into the SNCOs, the senior non-commissioned officers, then you start to build a house. That was the way that our dorm chief described it to us and I loved that and I had to share it with you guys. So do you see that a master sergeant has one stripe that's a roof and a senior master sergeant has two stripes that's an even bigger roof and then a chief master sergeant has three stripes an even bigger roof. So now you can see kind of the progression of the enlisted ranks. Keep that, that little tool in your back pocket. Now, as far as officers go, these ranks are a little bit more tricky to remember, but as long as you practice, you can use the DEP app to practice. There's a few different little tricks that you can use. I always think gold comes before silver. So if you have a gold oak leaf or a silver oak leaf, the gold comes first. So that would be the major. And then the silver oak leaf is the lieutenant colonel. And then a colonel, we call them a full bird colonel because they have an eagle. So. Think of that, full bird colonel has the silver eagle and gold always comes first. So a second lieutenant has one gold bar and a first lieutenant has a silver bar. So the second lieutenant, the gold came first. And then as for general, a easy way to remember the order of the types of generals is be my little general. Brigadier, general, major general, lieutenant general, and general. So we'll call generals four star generals, for example. Keep those tips in mind and try to memorize all of those ranks because it is really important. You actually need to know those. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If this video is helpful, give it a big old thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.